Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of The Shadows of Mordor. Alright, when we left off, there was a, uh... There was less problems than we currently have right now. And, uh, I'll be explaining them why after I attempt this little maneuver here. Ah, there we go. And... perfect. That one I'd been practicing for a while. <laughs> Anywho... Um, Just there was a like bit of an oopsie doodle, and it's mostly my fault. Um, I goofed off a bit in the main game, thinking that, oh, this won't be a problem at all. I'm just going to try and do some completionary shit because I wanted to complete the game because I liked the game. So, um, I did a little bit of that. And then, on a Toker suggestion, I uh, went to Potate's channel, and I was like, oh, well, let me try a Reforge, see what I can get out of that, see if I can uh, get anyone with some good build qualities out of that, just for shits and giggles, you know? And uh, I forgot to set it onto a different save for that Reforge. And accidentally got rid of Uthug in the process. Which I didn't know that he had gotten uh, forced out in the main game when I was doing that. Apparently that happened um, right after I got out. Because if I recall, he was still there. I made sure he was still there when I quit out. So it must have happened... I don't know, as like an automated thing once I left the main game? I, I don't know. Honestly. But, as it stands right now, Fulgum is the main nemesis. Now, I'll be posting links in the description um, just to describe how Fulgum is, you know, pretty much the same as I was with Uthug. It was just a guy who I liked to torture a lot. <laughs> I loved to give him shit. And he took it like a champ, much like Uthug. Um, so, in this tragedy, I, um, <laughs> I'd been thinking about the canon of our main story through the game. Our canon, not like anyone else's canon through the story. Our canon for this LP. So, this is what my canon, as it stands, is. Uthug died in the main assault on the tower and the black hand. He just outright died. No coming back, no nothing. He was annihilated. I still have his rune on my sword, which is a homage to his memory, which will be on the first link in the description there. The second link will be leading to how we met Fulgum here. Fulgum the drunk, who even drinking couldn't get him to stop worrying about my constant terrorizing of him. And uh, he met Uthug, who was going through a similar situation, and they became blood brothers. So, in the next game, after I've killed Uthug and move on to going after Sauron, Fulgum will be my main nemesis trying to come after me. And that is where he will play out. I'm not going to change anything else other than that. I'm going to keep it that way. And as you can see, he has a fuck ton of bodyguards. And pretty decent amount of strengths there. He's got Body Slam, Vault Breaker, uh, Battle Hardened, Poison Weapon. And uh, he can be damaged by explosions and combat finishers, but he's not invulnerable to them. He's invulnerable to stealth and uh, range, though, and kills monsters quickly. So he's going to be a formidable opponent, much like uh, Uthug was going to be a formidable opponent. But, uh, that's unfortunate how that played out. It's mainly my fault. 
I apologize. That's how it's going to have to go. I do hope none of you hate me for it. I would understand, but I do hope. Anyway, we're still going to keep Rush of the Black Gate as our main guy going forward. But, there's another Black Gate guy who came up that I want to give a chance. As you see here, I just want to go back up to him to show Rosh as opposed to this guy. He's an ugly motherfucker, I'll admit. <laughs> as much as uh, Rosh here is. You know, Rosh is still a bit of an ugly motherfucker. But, yeah. <laughs> here we go. This is our guy here. His master is Fulgum the Drunk, so we're going to be wrenching him from his grasp. Or uh, eventually making him take Rosh's place. I don't know. We'll find out. It depends on how the stats go. Right now, he is invulnerable to ranged, which is a good thing to have. He has inspiring presence, which is a good thing to have. Um, and hate of grogs, which going forward might be a good thing to have. I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, I would prefer hate of pain or hate of defeat. But, this is still pretty good. And, uh, he doesn't have Fearless yet, which is good. He's got Body Slam and Grapple, which are pretty good things, as well as Jump Attack. That's actually a pretty good thing to have in the repertoire. And as you can see, uh, Rosh here is damaged by combat finishers, but not vulnerable to them. He's invulnerable to stealth, ranged, and monsters, pretty much. Uh, has a Throat Grab, Battle Hardened Humiliator, and has a gang of followers which is always a good thing to have. So, with that in mind, we're going to uh, see what we can get out of Nazu here. Nazu of the Black Gate. And the best way to do that is to get a death threat on, which we're going to do with this guy here. <laughs> That's the quickest way to see how his growth is going to go as I learned from Potate's channel. So, let's see. He goes up to 15. He's a legendary captain now, protected by a gang. And he gets vulnerable to stealth. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's fine, I guess. But he's also gained heavy attack instead of throat grab. And he's got Backlash, which makes counters ineffective, which is also relatively a good thing to have. So, there's that. So, we'll see how his uh, growth goes. I'm pretty sure that he had a mission thing going on. Just gotta double check. We'll go down this way. Nope, he did not yet. So, we're gonna be playing the waiting game. But we're going to do it around his spot. So there we go. Should he not change up. There's Horza. We'll kill him eventually. Naruk. A good runner-up. If, you know, Rosh dies for whatever reason. Okay. And he... He still doesn't have anything going for him. Alright. Fine. Fine, I guess. Let's uh, see where we can find him, huh? No, that's Tumug. Ah. Well, Tumug is a pretty good guy, but he's not a guy that I want to keep around. So, uh... Fight for me! Yeah, fight for me by dying. <laughs> that's what we're going to do here. Ooh! Big ol' head explosion. Yeah, I've been doing that from time to time if I got frustrated with one of them. So, uh, there's that. <laughs> like the sound of that. Well, those guys are going to be a meal for Karagor soon if they keep running like that. Alright, uh, let's go over here. Perfect! Alright. And beautiful. Alright. I had to turn my headset down. I was trying to do it in between. Huh. Things. Yeah, is that what they're doing? Not, you know, being properly cautious or anything? 
Okay, let's go after this guy. Alright, and... Beautiful. Weird, I must have passed right by him, because I didn't see him. There he is. Nazu. Nazu. Alright. I think... We can brand him now, considering he's at 15. Just the wind, I suppose. Yeah, that's it. Just the wind, you suppose. Alright, since he's... Not vulnerable to ranged or stealth. He's gonna do this. There we go. Just do a combo on his people. There we go. There we go. Perfect. This is working out beautifully. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Hi there! The last ragged ranger has come to follow through on his little threat. Well, I'm attempting to, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Get some damage on you. You won't break my guard that way. Well, I wasn't planning on breaking his guard. Whoa, he's out. That hurt. Beautiful. Ooh. That went right through. Boom. Gotcha. And let's go after him next. Okay. Oh, ow. Well, you did my job for me. Ow. I did the wrong button press and I couldn't save it after that. Okay, there we go. Get a good couple swings on you. There we go. Beautiful. Did you forget I know that Not really. Okay. You won't catch me with Oh geez. Ow. I forgot you had a jump attack. Okay, I'm gonna take out these guys before they become a problem, which will be very soon. Okay, and... Beautiful. Let's try it. Nope. Still didn't work, huh? How about this? Nope. One more, maybe? Nope. This last one should do it. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's, uh... See how the stats change from that. Ah, uh, he still has that. All right, it got rid of one of his strengths, unfortunately. Um, I hope we can eventually breed out, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, uh, those uh, hates because the hate of the master suffering is not. Well, I mean, if I'm technically his master, that would possibly work. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. We'll have to test that. But in the meantime... Um... Wait, his master right now is Fulgo. Okay, that's probably not gonna work. Uh, well... We tried. Uh, maybe if we put him as a bodyguard for Rosh. I don't know. Anyway! Um... Hate of Grogs. That still might work. Anyway, we're gonna have to see. Right now... What I'm going to have him do is uh, go after another captain. There we go. And we'll have him command and murder. Who should we murder? Let's go after the brewer, huh? Let's go after this guy. No pretenders to the throne of drunkards. <laughs> That's reserved for Fulgum and me. <laughs> Mainly me. Okay. Let's go do that. Where is that? At. All the way down here. Okay. Well, it's easier just to fast travel. So there we are. Zoom. And perfect. All right. Forward. Whee! That didn't work out like intended, but hey. Close enough. Yeah. It'll be you next. Yeah. That's fair. That's probably fair. Whoop. Okay. Perfect. Nazu of the Black Gate versus... I don't remember the other guy's name. He's the Brewer. That's as far as my brain went. 
Oh, and he's clumsy too. How about that? I will make quick work of your clumsy hide. Which won't be hard. I'll rip your tongue out and feed it to you. Oh, he seems pretty on the ball considering he's a brewer. And considering how a full goom is. Buh. He's so drunk that he can't even get proper sentences out. The proper words out either. And Ooh, shot. Ooh. Ooh, he has a fear of Ishmael's the rugged. I didn't know that. I could have done that. <laughs> nah, not really. Anyway, uh Summoner, Vault Breaker. So he has regeneration, that'll help him a little bit. I've been curious. Uh, if you have if you have Uruks go against other Uruks who have a particular strength, do they pick up that strength if they kill them directly? I've I've never been sure on that. We're done for! Move it! Well, there goes that. Decided to retreat. He's the big old bitch. There we go. Thank you. Ushak. Ukshak, rather. The Brewer. Okay. Well, that worked out. Now let's see how his powers change from now. There you go. Good on you, Nazu. Okay, he lost the... Weakness to explosions. Okay. Fine. I guess. Okay, I don't think he had Monster Slayer. Originally. So that's new. I think. Uh, still has Body Slam. Still has Jump Attack. I would rather he get something new than have either one of those strengths of hate. Uh, we'll have to find out eventually. Well, in the meantime, there we go. Okay, buddy. I needed to dominate you, so I figured that would be quicker. There we go. Uh, command. There we go. Have to keep my thumb away from the kill button, because I've done that before. There was a whole episode where I did that before and had to fix the oopsie doodle, and <laughs> I couldn't fix the oopsie doodle that I made here. <laughs> anyway. Scoff the mad. Let's put him out of his madness, shall we? There we go. And uh, he is averse to combat. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And a hate of ghouls. Well, well here's hoping that uh, my theory isn't correct and that he doesn't gain the uh, aversion to combat. Because that would be annoying. Okay, where is that? Uh, ah, it's all the way over here. Okay, well, back to here we go, I guess. <sighs> now, I want to reiterate, we're not finding a replacement for Rosh right now. We're just testing things out, seeing how things go. And, uh, eventually we'll see how it plays out. But, uh, as of right now, I don't think we're going to be replacing Rosh. Rosh is a good guy who I think we're going to be running with for quite a while. Oh, someone noticed me. Up I go! Whee! <laughs> nice miss, jackass. How come I didn't see you before? You shit-ass. Now you're mine. Go fight the other fucks that are shooting at me. Or throwing things at me. Close enough. Let's, uh, complete this duel. Uh-huh. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> This'll end up good. Do you really think you have a chance against me? Oh, I hope not. You don't threaten me! How do things I'll do to you? I like how when they, uh, end up being mad or crazy, they end up getting stuck with that face. It's like that face is the only one that has the ability to show that they're crazy. Okay, this is not going to plan. How is, how is he averse to combat and doing so well? That's what I want to know. There you go. There you go, Nazu. No more. Run! Yeah. Running. <laughs> Big baby bitch. Okay. Perfect. Let's see what he got. Out of his duel with Scoff the Mad. 
All right. Ah, he still has the same strength. Man. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll send him as a bodyguard for, uh... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, come on now. Calm down. Scout the mad escape. Okay, fine, I don't really care. What I'm going to do is send him to initiation with Rosh, because apparently Rosh doesn't have any bodyguards. We're going to fix that with one of his own. Okay. And again, I have to go all the way back on the other end of the map, because that's just how I have to do. Yeah, it's quicker this way. So, let's do it. Oh, it's not available. What? How is it not available? Go fuck yourself, it's not available. Eat my ass, it's not available. There we go. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay. Perfect. And... There it is. It's over there, so... Perfect. Have it marked. Onward we go! Whee! I say that all talk first up on the back of a crowd. Doesn't bother me. It doesn't. But it should. Because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Alright, here's Hawk. Hawk the Grinder. Hmm. Fear of Karagors and fear of burning. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's near a fire. Let's see if we can ignite that fear. Hmm. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> that looks at me wrong is gonna have a real problem. Well, how about this fire? Did it look at you wrong? <laughs> Run, little bitch, run. <laughs> okay, who's this guy? Gunza. Gunza. Okay, he's a combat master. Hmm. And he has a lot of good strengths. Hmm. We'll have to look into him. But not right now. <laughs> Beautiful. And kill you. There we go. Perfect. In the future, we'll go after him. Right now, we're in the middle of helping Nazu. So up we go. And trial by ordeal. Hmm. Are you joking? This isn't even a challenge. Yeah, not for you, honestly. Because you have Monster Killer. And... Boom. You're good. Also, I learned that they gain power if they kill monsters. Uh, if they just find them in the wild, they'll gain power just by killing them. So, uh, that's a thing. <laughs> there we go. Promoted to bodyguard. And he still has the same strength. Motherfucker, are you kidding me? Well, I mean, you know. It's one of those things, that they can only grab so many things. Okay, let's dominate. Nanikir Galar. Okay. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that shit. <laughs> I just play it by ear. Alright, um. Can deflect attacks. Hmm. He hates Ukshak the Brewer? Why? That sucks. Okay, whatever. Uh, this guy would actually be a bit of a challenge for him. <laughs> that's, that's not what we're trying to do here. Okay. Huh. Hate of Burns, Vault Breaker. Huh. We'll have to see... We'll have to see how this goes. Because, right honestly, <laughs> let's have the uh, guy who hates grogs go after the grog catcher. <laughs> That's an idea. We'll have to see how this goes. But, uh, I'm not going to interfere. Mainly because there's no way I can interfere from a safe distance. So, that's uh, what we're going to do. <laughs> Anywho, looks like it's over there, so... 
Fast forward over here. I'm gonna end the episode after this. Right now, I'm running it a little over time, I know. But I had to get everything out in the open in the first, like, six minutes. So, uh, there we go. <laughs> We'll be getting this episode done as soon as possible. Well, hopefully the duel doesn't play out for, like, ever. But we'll find out. Alrighty. Up we go. Come on, really? Oh, I hear a Karagor. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Nazu of the Black Gate versus the Grog Catcher. Let's see I how it goes. Quick work of your clumsy hide. Let's get on with this, you yapping shrew. Oh, Nazu Grog Catcher. He actually lost a hand to a grog, it looks like. Go! Jump in! Jump in, man. You have a jumping attack. Use it. There you go. There you go. That's my boy. Come on. You can do it. I've seen you do it. There you go. Keep going. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Kill him. Kill him good. Don't let him get an attack out. Oh, jeez. You let him get an attack out. That was your fault. There you go. And beautiful. Body slam. And wha bam <laughs> Nice on you. Nazu versus Nazu. The better Nazu prevailed. <laughs> prevailed. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> I fucked that up just by being able to not talk. Being unable to talk. God damn it. Fuck my brain. Nazu did good against the other Nazu. Yay. Okay. He did beautifully. I don't know why I'd expect it any different, honestly. Perfect. Dominate. And let's command you to go after someone else, but that'll be on my own time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do Horza the Blade Sharpener, because I wanted him dead anyway. But that'll have to be in the next episode, because right now I'm way fucking over time. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. <coughs> Jesus, my voice. <laughs> if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. God damn it. Oh, my throat just does not want to cooperate with me. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And hopefully you can forgive me for what I did. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and fixing a bad situation the best way I know how by pitting orcs against each other and seeing how that turns out for you.